Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about strategy here and something we've mentioned numerous times, but I'm going to show you guys one more time again. Um, for the team that is rolling out first or even second, if the first team rolls a bocce ball and it goes past, past the Polina, again, from a strategic standpoint, it's ideal to kind of set up your block. All right, so again, what does that look like? Again, we've got an open court. The Polina is kind of right in the middle. Ideally, I'm going to roll this Polina so it's kind of just sitting right in, uh, sorry, I'm going to roll this bocce ball so it's sitting right in front of the Polina, not past it. So that's a decent block right there. So now the other team has to work around me, okay? So when we mentioned before that a team, when we want to teach our athletes about where to stand, again, now if I was the green team, basically this whole court, this whole side of the court is kind of not going to work for me anymore. So as we're teaching strategy to our athletes, we have to make sure that they understand, even if they come here to the middle, there's a good chance that I would hit that red ball, which if I'm not putting enough force on it, I might just push it closer to the plena, okay? So in this case, if they come to the right side, now all of a sudden I still do have a clear angle to the polina. So this is the type of thing that we really want to talk about when we ask, these, ask the athletes, what do you want to do? And if the answer in this case is I want to get as close to the polina as we can, which is called pointing or a scoring shot, then they have to think about where they are with regard to the, the width of this court and make sure they come to the right. That's going to give you a clear angle on the polina to get by the red ball. So again, in this case, I'm looking at it from that side. And that way I can roll a bocce ball that's coming in from the side. All right? Now, not a perfect throw, but again, it shows you that I have the angle to kind of get by. All right? Now, if I'm the red team in this case coming back, this gives me an opportunity to possibly set up even more of a block. All right? If I can keep this one short and a little bit to the right of that bocce ball. Now, from a team standpoint, we can kind of set up a block even further. And I want to just kind of keep doing that as much as I possibly can. Again, green does have an avenue where they can kind of slide it through the two red balls. That'd be a really nice shot if they can achieve it. Then they should absolutely go for it. But this is how we are playing strategically to try and limit what the other team can do as well. Now, say I'm green and I'm losing my options as far as being able to get in towards the Polina. Again, those are called pointing or scoring shots because we're just trying to use finesse and roll it as close as we possibly can to the Polina. But the other option here is what's called a spocking or a hitting shot, okay? So what does that mean is I'm trying to spock or hit the red ball out of the way, where the other option is I'm just going to try and roll this super fast, and if it hits the polina, great, and maybe pushes the polina down to the far end of the court and away from the red balls, okay? So in this case, I'm just going to try and hit a spocking shot or a hitting shot, which means I'm going to need to give it some extra energy because I want to hit it far away, so... I'm going to give it a little extra arm swing on this. 